final product. So let me make sure I'm recording. Other than the final product, what was your favorite part of composing for these two projects? Um, I think the diversity in the music was probably the favorite thing. I, I get bored easily, <laughs> so it's nice to be able to like keep bouncing from genre to genre, or using different instruments, working with different people, and kind of adjusting to what their tastes are, and learning, and then that brings the collaborative nature forward. What's your least favorite part? <laughs> uh, when there are last minute changes and uh, we need to scramble at the end of the day, it's it's just a, a stress that you know you have to kind of learn sure. how to deal with. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, sliding door moment. What would you be doing if this if you didn't follow this particular path? Um, has brought you your current success. Uh, I would either ideally be in a band and be touring. Um, or uh, I'd be a bartender. I did that for a couple really? years out of college, and I absolutely loved it. You get to interact with different people and you know, be able to collaborate on what drink they want. <laughs> What's fun is well, introverts do make good bartenders. Because you guys just, we, we like to listen. Um, Mom was curious about a musician's ear. And it was kind of asked in the panel, can you turn it off? When you're watching a movie or a TV show or playing a video game, it is hard to do. I I am absolutely hyper focused on the score and what kind of song is going on in the background. Mm. And it's funny, even when listening to songs, um, I tend to listen to the music more than the vocals or the words um, specifically. Yeah. So yeah, it, it does kind of take you out sometimes. Um, <laughs> especially watching something that I've worked on, because then all I can focus on is are the you, music. <laughs> are you super critical of your own? I am. You want to you want to make sure everything that you release into the world, mm -hmm. you know, is your best foot forward. Yeah, of course. Like Maggie said, we, we judge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can you judge yourself the harshest? You have to be. You're going to learn what you like to do, yeah. what you don't like to do, and what you're going to do better next time. Right. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Um, dream project, then. What are you composing for? Um, the number of projects that I've been lucky enough to do with Pixar has been wonderful, starting from 2016's Piper mm -hmm. um, and being able to you know, go through a lot of different things uh, over the last eight years. Mm -hmm. um, I think the, you know, the North Star for that is being able to do a, a full-on Pixar feature. Awesome. Pixar is my all Pixar products, like emotionally emotionally compromising for me. They really are. I mean, it is. so hyper. I was like, what? I <laughs> <laughs> no, when he, when he makes that step forward, just mm -hmm. and the fact that they can do all these shorts without any dialogue is mm -hmm. really what, totally. what it is. And the music gets to really narrate you know, what, the, what our character mm -hmm. is experiencing. And I think that, that that's the magic that, that touches the audience. It's all been movies so far. Have you been interested in any other genres like TV shows, video games? Yeah, I've done a I've done a fair share of TV shows, um, and uh, you know, film is great. And then I've done some theme park rides as well. Really? Yeah, which has been a lot of fun. It's again, it's just something different. Mm -hmm. And whether it's working off of a, a theme, a style that a composer has already developed, um, and then being able to expand upon that. It's always a fun exercise to be able to immerse yourself into somebody else's language. Right. Um, or, you know, getting to do something completely original. It's uh, it's a different way of working, so it keeps you keeps you busy. What are you currently working on? Uh, currently working on a couple of promos um, with uh, with different companies, and um, I'm about to start a TV show mm. in the next couple of months. Anything you talk about? I, uh, not without ideas at this yeah. point. <laughs> <laughs> what is your typical approach to any project? Do you have a routine or a first step that you always have to take? Yeah, I think meeting with the creatives and having a very broad conversation about not only what the story is, but about what the characters mean, who has what type of emotion, what is their overall story arc, um, what kind of palette is it that they prefer. I, a lot of the times I ask them, you know, what are your favorite scores or what are your favorite movies? And then what are your favorite rock songs? Or, you know, I just, I want to learn about their style and what it is that they like. 
um, because a little bit of that can slip into what the score is. So you know, they, the creatives can also take a little bit of ownership over what it sounds like, and it's nice to be able to work with different people about that. Biggest influence. Uh, I love Thomas Newman. I think you know his work on the Pixar movies, but also one of my favorite scores of his mm -hmm. is uh, Lemony Snicket's. And I just I love the style that he does. I love the way that he works. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely. So if you had to, your dream collaboration would be. <laughs> I mean, I, I would be, love to be a fly on the wall, even. Really? Yeah, in just, his studio, just, like, just watch him work. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he did the main title for Feud uh, this last season, Cambodia vs. the Swans, and I mean, I think it's brilliant the way that he, the way that he went about it, so. Yes, those are all the questions I had for you. Awesome. Thank you so much Absolutely. for your time. Thank you. It was nice, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you.